In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for practice exam number two for math 1220, in which case we're given a function in the form of a table here. Here's f of x, and some of the entries for x are provided here with their corresponding y coordinates. And then we're supposed to use this table of values for the function f and use it to approximate the integral from 10 to 30, which you'll notice is the first and last uh, entries of this table here. So we want to approximate the integral from 10 to 30 of f of x dx using the trapezoidal rule, t sub 5 here. So let's first calculate what would our delta x look like in that situation. Delta x would equal 30 minus 10 over 5. So we end up with 20 over 5. Uh, delta x is 4. Notice that the table's already set up this way. Now, for all tests, it might not be so simple, but this one does increment by 4, like so. And so using the trapezoid rule, T5, we're going to end up with delta x divided by 2 times the first entry, which is negative 2, plus 2 times the next, negative 6, plus 2 times the next, negative 2, plus 2 times the next, which is 1, plus 2 times 3, uh, plus the last one, no two on that one. So we just seek to try to simplify this thing. Of course, delta x, like we saw a moment ago, was 4, so we get 4 over 2. Uh, negative 12 plus 8, of course, is going to give us a negative 4 in that situation. Um, as all of these numbers are divisible by 2, I'm going to factor out the 2 for a moment um, and then add these together. Negative 6 minus 2 is a negative 8, plus 1 is a negative 7, plus 3 is a negative 4. So we get something like that. Uh, 4 divided by 2 is the same thing as 2. Um, here we get negative 4, so we're going to get 2 times negative 4, which is a negative 8. So we get 2 times negative 12, and then lastly our calculation turns out to be negative 24, and so we see that the correct answer would then be choice E.